Well, here's a problem that I really like, Newton's method. So this is a 400-year-old method for solving equations. When does e to the x equal the negative 2x plus 3? So I need an estimate for the answer. e to the x goes like this, and it crosses the y-axis right here at 1. Negative 2x plus 3 means that you go up to 3, and then you've got a line that's going down. So they're going to cross right here. And I'm just going to guess that that's going to be 1. Probably not the best guess, but that's how powerful Newton's method is. Even if my guess isn't great, it can still solve it. The first thing I need to do is set it equal to 0. So I'll have e to the x stay on the left side, and then add 2x to both sides. Subtract 3, and now it would be equal to 0. And then you call that your function, f of x. The next thing to do is take the derivative. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the derivative of 2x is just 2. And now you divide those two. The function divided by its derivative. And then in front, you just go x minus. Now, my first guess was a 1. And this is called x0. In other words, this has been run through this little formula zero times so far. Now, plug in a 1 for x. And of course, the easiest way to do that is use the calculator. First of all, go 1, and then right here is store, so store that as x. Uh-oh, my calculator's in the wrong mode. 1, store that as x. There we go. Now type in this, x minus, and this should be in parentheses, so the calculator knows this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So parentheses e to the x plus 2x minus 3 divided by and parentheses e to the x plus 2. And then because I stored x as 1, it's now going to plug in 1. And it says, actually, your answer should have been closer to a point six three six. Then store that as x. And then either hit second enter, second enter. Or you can just go up here, if your calculator has that highlighting ability, and hit enter. And then it says that 0.595 is the next possibility. Store that as x. And then grab the formula again. And we're almost there. Because now it just barely changed. It's now 0.594. And the next time we do it, we should get the same answer. Yep, so that's it. It is a 0.594. So as soon as you get it twice in a row, then that's going to be the answer. x equals a 0.594. And then I want to verify that I got it right. So Newton wasn't able to do this part. He didn't have a graphing calculator. So when did e to the x equal negative 2x? plus 3, and you can see it's going to make my little picture right here. Turns out my guess of 1 wasn't too bad. And then second calculate, find out where they intersect, 
and then put the cursor close to where they intersect and hit enter three times. One, two, three. And it says that the answer is 0.594.